uh, today I'm very honored to uh, meet with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Shen Lo, uh, who is a lead designer for a GM Advanced Design Studio. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's an honor for me, actually. Uh, is it your first time uh, to California? Um, no, actually, I, I lived in California for four years. Before, yeah. Yes, before, from 96 to year 2000. So, so it feels like I'm coming back home a little bit. Okay. Um, so, uh, first of all, I would like to ask you, how long have you been uh, uh, in this position? It's a very uh, uh, prestigious <laughs> oh. position. Um, I've been in the lead creative uh, designer position for about eight years. And um, it, it's, it's, it's not as glamorous and prestigious as you perceived it to be, but um, it, it's a fun job. Yeah. So, before uh, you become a lead designer for a GM, um, you have been working for other um, car companies, or um, that's a good question. Um, I, I well, upon graduation, I GM is the first job, and I've been in GM for ten years. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I, according to your bio, I know that uh, you graduate the engineer in Korea, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, became your um, like. Um, um, passion for cars oh my passion for cars you know it's interesting because I've always loved cars and I always loved drawing so ever since I was a young kid ever since my memory I've been drawing cars and when I was since what age uh, from four to five and when wow. I was uh, <laughs> six years old um, I had a chance to go abroad to New Delhi India mm -hmm. and it's there when I saw all these foreign makes of cars Cadillacs Oldsmobiles and Mercedes-Benz and that's when I inspired to be a car designer. Yeah. Um, so um, I knew um, that, that your um, your dad was um, in the uh, foreign um, yes um, foreign, ministry foreign ministry for ministry. for Republic of Korea back then. Yeah. Um, so and that's that why you uh, you saw a lot of luxury foreign cars, right? Yes. And and back then in the seventies, um, you know, Korea didn't have many imported cars, so it was very limited of cars that you could see on the road. Yeah. But once I got to New Delhi, where uh, there was many ambassadors from various countries around the world, almost 140 countries, mm -hmm. so you could see all the cars that uh, they were driving. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, with the uh, like uh, car industry, um, with many problems, so economic problem in general, do you think that uh, your position right now, you have a lot of uh, um, like uh, responsibilities and pressure on your shoulders. <laughs> um, I, I think um, if if you're in the automotive industry, uh, for me, it's actually an opportunity. The problem um, is economy, but there's nothing we can do about the economy. But as individuals in the automotive industry, we can all try harder to give, to uh, push great design, great engineering. So there's only uh, one way, and that's up. <laughs> So after um, graduate uh, engineer, you came to California for uh, the uh, um, College of uh, Art? Yes, um, after graduating uh, from Hong Kong University in uh, Seoul, Korea, I came to study in Art Center College of Design in uh, Pasadena, which is about an hour from here north. It's a very um, a reputable school, especially in transportation design. Uh, okay, uh, may I ask you, did you have uh, any mentor um, to help you and uh, what advice did you get? If um, you have any? That is a very good question. Um, I've always uh, looked for advice as a student um, trying to become a car designer. It's, it's those pieces of advice and mentorship that uh, really mean a lot, but I, I, I was unfortunate. I never got that advice, but I can advise the people, the, the young students trying to aspire to be car designers or designers to be more creative and think out of the box and always challenge the status quo. Okay. Um, I just saw uh, the, uh, the beautiful Buick car, yes. <laughs> the uh, big... Uh, um, the, the Buick LaCrosse. LaCrosse, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, uh, right. <laughs> yes, it's parked outside Park in outside. deep ruby red and yeah. um, <laughs> I'm here to promote the the Buick brand uh -huh. and the Buick LaCrosse mm -hmm. and really it started the Buick Renaissance started mm -hmm. with the 2008 Buick Enclave mm -hmm. the Enclave is the the luxury crossover that you would see on the road mm -hmm. and the second phase of the Buick Renaissance is the LaCrosse which is really targeted at 
the luxury import uh, buyers like the ES350. Okay. Uh, usually uh, the brand Wick, uh, when uh, you um, talk about the uh, car Wick, um, you know the image, usually it's, uh, you know, the age, uh, it's usually like 55 or 60s. Uh, so do you plan to rejuvenate the image of uh, Wick? Absolutely. We understand that the Buick's customer's average age is high, and uh, I think with great design, we can get uh, younger or more youthful customers to get into a Buick, not alienating the Buick lovers that exist. So that LaCrosse is a good example. It has the space and the comfort and the commodity that a large sedan has, but also it's very responsive and very dynamic as well, mm -hmm. that the young people would like. Yeah. A GM, uh, you know, it's made uh, like more than 100 years already. Uh, and before, we uh, people had the conception that...